take my stupid advice. How do I know that? Most of you will never know because I never really speak about it. When I was about 17 or so, a guy, Danley Providence, introduced me to basketball. Danley introduced me to basketball. He got me in the basketball club Clippers. And Conrad Simon, Danley Providence, was basically responsible for teaching me basketball. People there was a, a young lady who put upon me one of those sport demons that cause you to excel and become great in sport. I didn't know. She did it without my permission because she was we were supposed to be married and dominate sports. However, a scout saw me playing, not calling him, it's not important who the person is. And he says, um, Palmer, I have a scholarship for you. I can get you into a university to play basketball, to play college ball. I say, cool, cool. I'm looking back now. Academically, I wasn't ready for that. Academically, I wasn't ready. I was about 18 or 19 or something like that. I wasn't ready. But basketball-wise, I was ready. I was, I was good. People, my first six months in basketball, I made national trials for the St. Vincent Grenadines basketball um, national team. I was also a finalist in the first ever slam dunk competition in St. Vincent Grenadines. Five feet eleven. But I can jump as high as any 6'5 person. I could have done reverse slam 360 and slam the ball at 5 feet 11. In that slam dunk competition was Wayne Williams. Wayne Williams is about 6, six feet 7. Donnelly Providence was about 6'4. And Bort, I can't remember Bort's last name. Bort was about 6'4 too. And those were all adults. I was the youngest person in the slam dunk competition. However, in order for me to get that scholarship, I had to do one little thing. It wasn't illegal. It wasn't unlawful. It wasn't immoral. It was not unethical. But in my eye, I, I saw it as a betrayal of those persons who got me involved in basketball. One little thing. It wasn't illegal, it wasn't immoral, it wasn't unethical, and it was nothing. It was, I'm get, going to the scholarship. I said, nah, I ain't doing it. If you're going to give me the scholarship, give me the scholarship as I am. And the scholarship was taken off of the table. The scholarship was taken off of the table. I didn't mind. You understand? I didn't mind, it was taken off of the table, but I'm telling you to tell you this, I know. The only reason why I didn't make the national team after six months of playing basketball is because after I rejected that, I went to Villa Beach and I had an accident. A guy ran a knife right into my stomach, destroyed my kidney, destroyed my, my stomach, destroyed my intestines, destroyed everything and they make a mess. My, my abdominal cavity. But when he did that, you know what happened? That was the way they expel the demon from me that was giving me all of these abilities to jump and do all kind of thing. But they couldn't take my, 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 my dribbling skill because that was what I practiced on. But everything else, everything else was the demon that they put on me to give me all of the supernatural ability to play the game. However, listen carefully, people. When I came back after my surgery and I was healed to play the game, when I go on the court, I was lost on the court, lost. I was totally lost. I didn't know how to position. I run about that court like a crazy man. And I hear the person who put the demon on me says, it leave him, it leave him from across the court. 
the most I wanted me to hear it. Hey, my Baba, it leave him, she says. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what she was talking about. But from a distance, I hear her clearly say, it leave him. That was the way. Because I didn't play ball with them. Because I didn't do a simple thing. They had to get rid of that demon from me that gave me the ability to play basketball at such high level where I can jump 5'11", jump over men who are 6 feet, 6 inches tall and slam in their face. People, this is the reality. I know what I'm talking about. I had these premonitions. I had these premonitions back in St. Vincent. I used to see this demon every night. I didn't know who he was, where he was. Come and harass me. I know what I'm talking about. The most I didn't just bring me here to look handsome. He brought me here with a mission. I know what I'm talking about when I speak about speak these things. People, I lost the ability to jump and do 360 slam slam behind your back I, I was doing 511 like spot, spot web I lost all of those ability I even lost my way around the court I lose it because those instinct was my instinct those instinct was a demonic instinct that was placed on me but when I got the stab on the beach it was the exorcism. I was supposed to die. But the most I has me here for purpose. So when I tell you what is happening to Simone Boyles, it's because I've been there. I done that. People. Simone Boyles. She's either going to cause a sacrifice. Either someone who's close to her is going to die brutally, murdered in some vicious accident or oh, if she refuse her millions are going to disappear she's going to have to sell her house she's going to be flipping burger at burger king or mcdonald's to make a living or she is going to die suddenly that is just the reality 